All right. I'm in bike transition at Oceanside 70.3. Bike is just about ready to go. Had a little bit of a weird mechanical, but that's more or less just due to a slightly new configuration. I had to tap around with my rear derailleur, so I do not anticipate that being an issue. Um, some may say foreshadowing, but I do not believe that to be much of an issue there. So, gonna go through bike check-in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And uh, this is run out and we'll see who is here in terms of the pros that have racked their bikes so eric has already done his work that's bike number 10 and I believe pala has as well with her s works 51 and then kayla is the pro that i know she's rack number 60 so we may see her in transition in the morning but this is our transition area and got a lot of space here which is always nice and i am number 202 for those curious and so that means i'm probably towards an end here but yeah we got a, a long walk so the even numbers are on the other side here uh oh Of course, I'm not going to be care uh, having this bike computer on with me. So, uh, walking my way over, we got a lot of great, lovely frames. And should have checked in early, that's, that's what this tells me. <laughs> we got another Argon frame. So, Argon 18 frames all the way. So, I prefer to be in a middle here. Some people prefer to be easier. Uh, but this is my personal preference, so bike rack is now on. And I'm going to take the bike computer away with me. And there we go. Ready for tomorrow. It's going to be crowded. I'm going to set up my transition to the front here. And swim exit is over on that other side. I'm going to preview you on here. But yeah, we got a lot of sweet frames. I, I love seeing super sweet super fancy bikes as always so again just to preview the transition zone i'm gonna walk over to the swim exit So the swim out is over there and that is a long way but it is a fair transition um then i'm going to keep transition relatively simple uh going into this race uh this race is more or less an experimental race for me uh i'm not intending to pr this course uh but i do intend to try a couple of new things and i'll talk a little bit about that uh, later once I exit transition here and uh, get back to the hotel but long story short yeah this is there's going to be a lot of experimenting and uh, there's you can see the swim out we've already got the phone set up uh, and once you get out of the water and it's a pretty short out to transition it's all paved here so that's very nice I like that um, but again, as I stated before, this is an experimental race. So, uh, swim finish. So, we may have a long run out to uh, the entrance here. So, that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. And again, we're... My thoughts, more or less, is to put a little bit more power on the bike than what I'm normally used to doing. And... Uh, that means it'll be a little bit faster uh, in terms of the overall effort. That means I'm gonna need to consume more calories on the bike, which uh, that just means another additional two to three gels. Um, so 
That means I may need to take the gel and transition as well. Uh, and then stick with the uh, every 25 to 30 minutes rather than 30 to 35 that I've been doing for my normal 70.3s. But also talk about the run as well as the swims and ocean swim, which I'll be swimming in the ocean a little bit later this afternoon towards the beach in Carlsbad uh, rather than here in Oceanside. Conditions will be roughly the same, so I'm not anticipating anything different. So aside from that, yep because uh, YouTube loves to copyright videos uh, when it comes to some of this music here, so, but I don't really care. Um, so yeah, so just a more of an overview of uh, the bikes going around here. That's a Team Zooter bike, I can tell, on uh, Mini 118 frame. And there we go. So this is transition for you and we got a long ass walk back to the car, which is literally on the other side of this pier. So I've got to go all the way around, which is unfortunate, but so be it. That's how this is. Um, that, back to my bike. And I'll be going back to the car from here and right next to another Argon 18 frame. He's probably got an even better setup than I do. So, and better wheels and just better overall. So yeah, that stated, I'll check back once I have finished doing uh, my additional pictures and talk to you soon. All right, I'm at the beach. I'm about to test or I should say, about to freeze in these waters, apparently. I'm really just gonna more or less take a splash in the water here and uh, not really do anything too uh, crazy or extravagant. I'm gonna see if I can go right along the shores here. Not gonna try to, again, do anything crazy. So uh, get along to the beach and go for just to expose myself a little bit to the water and then um, get my wetsuit on which is in the bag and uh, just really more or less chill from here but freaking amazing weather I wish I wish Seattle was like this at least in West Seattle was like this every single day but uh the Northwest is a little bit cooler in comparison uh, both figuratively and literally, no, just joking on that. Uh, but again, gonna chill and gonna hit in the water a little bit and get this wetsuit on and uh, more or less try to stick along with the shore here and not try to run into too much trouble. So aside from that, I'm gonna jump on in. All right, so I've got the wetsuit on now. Feels a little awkward for me personally because I normally don't wear a full sleeve, but I think a full sleeve is gonna be necessary for today. And about to hit in the water here once I get the swim cap on as well as the goggles. And again, this is more or less just to kind of get a feel for uh, what, they're, what the water is like. Swim out a little bit, out a little bit, and then just kind of make my way along. So uh, again, just keeping it easy. And over there in the distance is the ocean side here. I'm not gonna swim all the way out there. That's way too far for me. Um, got some big waves coming through here, but I think once you navigate through some of these big waves, then I think it'll be just fine. So uh, check back with you guys in a little bit once I hit into the water. All right, I finished just about 500 yards of swimming. Again, nothing too serious today what suit is now broken into and it felt pretty good it was just under i mean the pace at 132 but that was because going out was a little bit hard to go through but once i got to smoother water then it started going into the 124 125 pace which is what i'm more used to so yeah so overall it was good swim more or less just to break in and calm the nerves a little bit and uh yeah so now i gotta dry some of this clothing out and 
prep for the shakeout run, which will be just under 20 minutes, I think. Just about two, two and a half miles. Do a little bit of acceleration and then just shutting it down for the day. And then having a good dinner and then going to edit more of these videos. So that'll, that's pretty much going to be it for me today on this lovely Friday evening, the 29th of October. And if you like the content of this video, then go and hit that subscribe button and hit the like button or leave a comment down below and uh, tell me guys what you guys think. And until then, I'll see you on race day.